And welcome back to Resident Evil Zero for the Nintendo GameCube. Alright, so welcome back. Um, we've now got Billy Kine with us, which we can control with the C stick on the GameCube pad. Uh, we can also press the start button to uh, make him follow us, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to tell him to wait here. You stay here. Okay. Because what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go up this ladder here with Rebecca to get to the top of the train. It's not very productive to uh, go up here with both of the characters because you'll end up having to come back down with one of them because both of them can't go to where we're going next. We kind of have to uh, temporarily split up here. So screw being on the top of this train. This is not a very good place to be as you can see. We could slip, the wind could blow us off and it's rainy and it's just not a very good time for our health. So I'm not going to spend too much time up here, not that it matters. You can't actually fall off or die up here, but I'm surprised that we're messing around with these power cables, to tell you the truth. But if we go ahead and reconnect them like this, some of the, uh, you know, the leech slime gathers, and uh, <laughs> yeah, this kind of happens. Some more leeches attack Rebecca, <laughs> or Billy, because you can do this with either character, and it locks you down into this little cabin here. So there's a couple of... Um, you know, rounds and stuff here that we can take. Let's go ahead and pocket up all the handgun ammo. I'm doing pretty well for ammo, I think, at the moment. I've got 120 bullets. And we've got our personal kit here. Um, and Billy's got the lighter. He's also um, stronger than Rebecca, so he can move heavier objects. And he's got a higher defense. So I don't really want uh, Rebecca too much around the zombies and stuff. She's more of a, you know, a good healer and uh, mixer, that kind of thing. But we're going to do this now. We've got uh, a door here. We can't go through it because there's something in the keyhole. So we now have to be using this uh, service lift. Which is very conveniently placed here. I'm going to go ahead and send this down to Billy. Because we can't get out of where we are now. So all I'm going to pretty much do is just go ahead and put the train key in the uh, service lift. That can go ahead and get sent down. And that's pretty much our job done for a little while. Now there is a certain way uh, that you can play this game. I'm going to play it in, a, I suppose, an item storage related way, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go and grab the... Did I go ahead and grab that already? I think I might have already picked up the handgun ammo there. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that. <laughs> it's not there. Now, we can gain access to a door that was currently sealed shut, but now that the power has been reconnected, um, the door is now operatable, like that. So if we're going to go, want to go ahead and make ourselves some food, uh, use the sink, all that kind of stuff, then we might stand a high chance of getting some sort of food poisoning, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm actually going to come around here, because this is where the service lift ends. So we can go ahead and grab that train key from here. Now what we want to do basically is get a some kind of pick that Rebecca can use for that door upstairs. So it's pretty much down to us now. How much ammunition do I have? I've got 30 shots on me. I'm going to go ahead and probably leave the knife behind. I don't really think I need that on me, to be honest with you. Uh, we will come across another knife later on, but I tend not to really bother with knives in this game. Not unless I really feel that I need to, but we should be okay. Alright, so... Yep, there's a couple of these guys around here. Let's go ahead and take these out, because... The thing is, um, <laughs> these zombies will probably end up getting in our way later on. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I have had it before where I've come into one of these carriages and there's been like four zombies there for me. And it's not very good if you're in a tight spot with uh, ammo and stuff. I'm just trying to be as careful as I can. And I think I... Oh crap, jeez Louise is what I was talking about. Alright, this might be my last clip. I need to make every shot count. Because I've got a a boss coming up soon. Some sort of giant thing. I won't give it away just yet in case you guys haven't seen the game. But if you haven't seen the game before, what are you thinking? I mean, it's quite cool, isn't it? It's not a bad Resident Evil title, I have to admit. One thing you can do is examine Edward's body. I did um, leave it because I thought that uh, one of us might need it at some point, but he's actually got some handgun ammo on him as well. And as you can see, I am running pretty low. 
So you use the train key here, you don't seem to need it anymore so you can just go ahead and throw it away. Because there's no box in this game. So you pretty much just have to uh, pick up items and or leave them in places. Which I think is very clever. There is a map over here, it's up to you whether you want to go ahead and grab that. I'm going to take it anyway just for the sheer sake of it. But there's also a button here as well. And if you go ahead and activate that, um, a ladder falls down for us. Which is pretty cool. Now in this room there is a wardrobe over here. Um, it's up to you whether you want to go in it. I actually have four item slots but I need a... Uh, let's see, I need the... Yes, I'm trying to think. I need the pick and the little hook thing for the door. That's going to take up two. But there's also a shotgun and some ammunition up there as well. Ah, uh, I always end up in a tough spot here with deciding what to pick up. I've got a couple of shots. I might waste about 13 on the boss and then use the shot. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back for the briefcase, actually. There's a briefcase in that, um, in that cupboard there. I'm going to just uh, be careful with this whole section at the moment because we're going to come back to this room when we uh, get a card later on for the door that's opposite. But in the meantime, what the freaking hell is this? Yeah. The pad is vibrating, dust and smoke is coming down from the ceiling because something is directly above our heads. And as you can see from this room, it tells you something big is going to happen in it. Doesn't it just? Because that is where we're going to be fighting the boss. When we come back through this door, that is when the little boss fight is going to commence. But first of all, if we come over to this little trolley here, there is an ice pick. Now that is what Rebecca needs, of course. So that is pretty cool. We need to grab that whilst we're up here. Otherwise it's a pointless trip. Or a pointless pick. Now let's see, there's a shotgun here and some shotgun ammo. Yeah, if I plan this out correctly, I might better do this alright. I'm going to leave the handgun ammo for now because I've got plenty enough with Rebecca. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and pick up the shotgun ammunition. And hopefully I'll waste enough shots on the little boss here to just reload my handgun and grab the item after it. And then we should be good for a while. One thing about this game, uh, is it really depends on the person, but you can play it so that you can be very careful with your item storage, so that you don't have to keep going back to places. Um, this is what I am doing, as you can see. <laughs> Right, let's go ahead now and just see if I am fully locked and loaded. I am. I've got some shotgun ammo and I've got enough handgun ammo as well. Should be good. This is only uh, the first boss, so they're not going to make it too difficult for us. But it's a waste of a perfectly good chandelier, to say the least. And very fancy ceiling, which is being destroyed by a giant motherfucking scorpion. So, yeah. That's... Uh, <laughs> that is our first boss. I'm going to come ahead and go over here. Now you want to go ahead and shoot downwards like that and get kind of a, a head-on shot really because that's where the weak spot is. And I am running quite low on handgun ammo so hopefully I won't end up having to worry too much about that. There we go, that was a good shot. There we go, that's what you want to do. You want to get it right in the face if possible without dying, to be honest with you. It would really suck to die on the first boss. I think I might be out. Yeah, I'm actually out. Okay, good. All right, never mind. Shotgun time then. I think he got one last shot in on me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Jammy bastard. All right. Well, he's dead now. Um, I now have enough space. Okay, good. So we pretty much just have to wait for this thing to die, which takes an incredibly long amount of time. We can go around it like that and just come over here to this. This is what I was talking about. You need another item space for this. This is the panel opener, which I like to grab whilst I'm up here because it just saves us a little bit of trouble later on. The briefcase I can go back to because we're going to get a card um, later on from that. So we need to be over there anyway. But let's see, um, I haven't taken much damage. No, I should be okay. I should be alright for the time being. I was thinking about wasting a green herb just to kind of replenish anything that I've got. But 
I should be all right. I should actually be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and return to Rebecca now and get her the hell out of that place because she might be getting a little bit of claustrophobia. I don't know what kind of thing she worries about. <laughs> And I might just go ahead and take out some of the zombies as well. I do wish that I had a couple more handgun uh, ammunition on me as well, because I don't really like wasting shotgun rounds. I think we might be good for zombies at the moment, though. I did just take out four in that cabin, so hopefully they'll ease off for the zombies for like, uh, I don't know, a minute or something. That would be good. What about in here? Are we all clear for the, for the time being? Yep, good. Two zombie-free cabins, that's what I like to see. Obviously, more zombies come back, the more, you know, you do stuff. And let's see, yeah, I want to go ahead and send that up to Rebecca now. Alright, not doing too bad for time and uh, for storage and stuff like that. We're doing quite good. Let's go ahead and just send the ice pick up to uh, Rebecca now. Be nice if she could send me down some uh, handgun rounds as well. We'll be okay though, because uh, we're going to actually regroup with her any second anyway. Alright, so all you, Rebecca. There's our trusty ice pick that gets us out of here. Okay. So now we've got the ice pick. The door that we couldn't actually get through, we can now get through. So go ahead and just take full advantage of that. And now the doorknob is unstuck. So now this actually takes us back round to uh, pretty much to Billy. We just have to go down the stairs because as you can see it takes us right here. And there's a flaming zombie and no that isn't an insult but it could be I suppose. We're just going to go ahead and avoid that because I don't really feel like wasting any more rounds. And as you can see we're down here again. So here we are, we're regrouped with Billy. Now what I am tempted to do is give uh, Billy some rounds now. Let's see, what have you got? You have the uh, panel opener. But you probably could do with some rounds in your handgun as well, because I don't really feel like letting you walk around with the shotgun equipped, because I know what you like. I know what you like, Billy. You're a douchebag. Uh, I suppose I'll give you about... I'll give you about 45 of them actually and then you can go ahead and equip this as well now I think Billy's handgun is actually stronger than Rebecca's but I'm not too overly fast I'm going to be using both of them anyway so I'm not too worried about that just for now we will might uh, we might get split up later on but I'll worry about it then what I am going to do is open up that panel that's in the way just like you Rebecca excuse me there we go this is actually what it's for. We can go ahead and get rid of this item as well now. Can't quite gain access to the door to our left there. But when we go down here into the crawl space, you can actually open that from uh, the other side. So, actually, wait a minute. Let's regroup. There we go, right. <laughs> Saves us both having to watch this cutscene, which is a little bit tight and narrow, as you can see. It'd be very unfortunate if a zombie dropped down there all of a sudden, wouldn't it? All right, let's go ahead and take these out. There we go. There's actually two uh, zombie dogs in that room. Now let's see. Uh, yeah, Billy could probably do with some more shotgun ammo. Go ahead and grab that if you like, or the first aid spray, depending on your preference. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for the time being, because I just want this. Now let's see. There's actually something over here that we need to grab. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's right over here by these stinky mucky cages it's a gold ring now let's see uh, Rebecca's got some item space so I'm going to actually take advantage of that uh, because we do need the gold ring and we need the briefcase because they actually uh, combine with each other I could give the handgun ammo back to Rebecca but I'm not going to worry too much about that for the time being let's just go ahead and leave this little cabin area here there's a certain item out here that we need to get that involves having two item slots. It's not too bad because we can actually get rid of it straight away. So I'm going to position Rebecca over here by this hook shot. And now uh, Billy can just go over here to this switch. 
Now this is a this is a, like a you know a two-player moment. One of them has to pull the lever down, and the other person has to grab the hook shot. There's like a one-second gap, so <laughs> you have to be extremely quick and grab the hook shot whilst you're standing in front of it like that. So there we go. We've now got the hook shot. And there we go. Now we have a pretty impressive item. And guys, I'm going to leave part 2 of Resident Evil Zero here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough and will join me in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.